God says, Your life is not horrible. Get up from that pit of misery. I have promised you to give you the victory. You'll lead a life that is graceful and full of bloom. As a result of this positive energy, more optimism will be drawn into your life and things will begin to fall into place. You'll appreciate life's positive aspects and improve your own situation. All the stress and turbulence in your life will vanish thanks to your angel. Don't allow Satan to bring you down. Get up and keep fighting. I love you. This is your sign that everything is going to turn out better than you can even imagine. Continue to think and feel what you want and be ready for it to manifest when you least expect it. It's time. Someone is being sent into your life as a blessing and an answer to your prayers. Realize your worth, shift your energy, and you will receive. God says, I know that you stress a lot at times. I don't blame you. Life can be hard, life can be challenging, and life can overwhelm us at times. However, when you are in a season of trouble, I want you to surrender it all to me. I will take care of you. God says, don't believe what the world has to say about you. Instead, believe what I have to say about you. You are beautiful and wonderfully made. You are my child. God says, you are the one who is going to bring unlimited health, wealth, and prosperity for your family. You are about to evolve from your old self to the most magnificent version of yourself. A happy, loving, prosperous, powerful, wise, and blessing for everyone's version of yourself. Type yes if you're ready. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. He is close to those who trust in him. But about that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father alone. And on that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, make them remember that his name is exalted. Call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. I rely on God's direction as I try to comprehend the motives and feelings of others. They have always realized that while you are understanding, you also have your own life to live. Their instinct is right because there's a probability that someone else will end up being your significant other during the coming few months. If you aren't careful, it may even develop into a complicated love triangle. Your guardian angels wish to convey this information to you because of this. If they don't even know how to get in touch with you, how could they possibly demand a significant part in your life? So they worry about maybe re-entering your life, especially because they have a sneaking suspicion that you're about to start dating someone. Your guardian angels can vouch for that because you have a propensity for influencing people without being aware of it. People are drawn to you instinctively for some reason. Support our community and donate us through super thanks type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.